Leviathan here. Today we are gonna do a first person POV drive of the McLaren 650S. So let's get started. This is the key, you have lock, unlock, and your front. To unlock, you tap the button, or you can double tap it, and it pops right up. So you just have to lift and glide right in. Welcome to the McLaren 650S. For those of you that are new to my channel and are wondering what I look like, all you have to do is imagine Chris Harris beefed up in a really tight t-shirt or you could just watch some of my other videos. So let's get started. As you can tell, my driving position is completely off. There are a few memory buttons in the seat which you can adjust to return to your preferred driving position which I'm just gonna do right now. So you press and hold and you are now in your perfect driving position. I'll just walk you through quickly the control panel of the car. It's really well organized. On the left hand side you have everything for your AC the center is your driver control panel where you have everything where you'd expect. Nothing is on the wheel other than the horn, which I really like just having a horn in the center with no other distractions around me. The indicators are where you would expect. There are a couple extra stocks like the vehicle control and your cruise control. In the center you have your iris system, which is your phone, your media, your radio, your sat nav, as you would expect. Then over here is the very special section called the Active Dynamics Panel, where you have your start engine, your driving modes, one controls your powertrain, the other controls your handling, which you turn on and off, your launch control, winter mode, which I've never used, handbrake, and your basic driving controls. This is a very special button. This actually drops that window right there, so you can really immerse yourself in the soundtrack of the car. It's really a symphony when you drop that window. There is no glove box. I do have an upgraded audio system and you can tell there's carbon fiber everywhere. And it is just a fantastic place to be inside with your Alcantara dashboard, carbon fiber and Alcantara seats. So today is going to be more of an instructional video on how to drive a McLaren. I'm going to walk you through my process, what I typically do and how I like to enjoy the car. We're going to try and keep it somewhat spirited but it is midday on a weekend and there is a lot of cops and to be honest. I love my license too much to actually lose it and I don't want to interfere with my driving record because it is spotless. So let's go for a spirited drive and when I say spirited I mean a bit aggressive on the throttle, late braking and hard turns because that's one way to enjoy the car without getting in trouble. So to start the car, foot on brake and you press the engine start button. Simple. Fasten your seatbelt. The car starts up in automatic mode and it's actually a fantastic mode. In the Ferrari F430, auto mode was hideous. It would actually make me nauseated when I left it in auto mode. When I'm in the city or if I'm going through traffic, I just leave it in auto. When I'm looking to have some fun spirited driving, then I press the active button, but I'm gonna keep it in auto for now. The car, as you can tell, is fully raised. Um, and we're gonna keep it that way. It stays raised up to 60 kilometers an hour Then if you go past 60 it'll automatically lower the speed limit around the city is around 40 to 60 kilometers an hour So it makes sense just to leave it fully raised just in case if you like these POV videos. I'm happy to do some more so Engage first the interesting thing about the paddles is it's all one piece So when I pull I can feel the mechanism move on the other side as well And I just love feeling how it's connected so release the handbrake. First thing I'm actually gonna do is drop the window. It's called the backlight as you see right there. Dropped. Now all of a sudden, I can hear the engine roar behind me. We are clear. I just take this slow because there are a lot of bumps and like I said, I'd rather be safe. Oh, 
So it's very easy to drive in auto, as you can see, all my gears are being done for me. Now I'm about to cross 60, and you heard that beep, so the car will automatically lower. Still in auto mode, but I can manually override it just by changing gears. It switches to AM. But now let's have some fun and turn on the active dynamics mode. Just by pressing the button, everything is done. My settings are usually for handling, I keep it in normal mode, and my powertrain I set to track, just because I like the aggressive changes. I also turn the air brake on, which deploys when you brake hard over 100 kilometers an hour. The car really comes alive when you drive this just a little bit hard, it, it sings. is a very interesting road you'll see I do a lot of my videos here because it's just one of those few roads which have incredible turns incredible elevations but it is very frequent to people just going over the top there's been a lot of accidents on this road especially with motorbikes you'll see that around some of these laps there's actually flowers because that's that marks the sign of some fallen riders it's always a good reminder Life is really precious and we can't take too many risks. But I digress, that is not the topic of this video. But I like to hang back a little to give myself enough runway to have a bit of fun. But cars are going extremely slow today so there's really not much I can do. traffic here I apologize it's not as spirited as I wanted it to be oh my goodness but you do get the point of what it's like to drive this car there's an Audi R8 over there and a lady completely squeezed out just went up. I love seeing it. So then I'll just accelerate it to 100 just for the fun of it so I can brake really hard. I love seeing the air brake go up. That's also one of my favorite features of this car. You see nothing behind you but just this great air brake. Oh, it's phenomenal. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first person POV video in a McLaren 650S. Hopefully next time we can do a more spirited drive. Thanks for watching. Until next time.